Hello and welcome to a new video. If you are new here and you are not subscribed yet, then please do because it truly really, really helps my channel and it would mean a lot to me. So yeah, please think about it. And also maybe leave a comment and a little like because again, it really helps my channel and yeah. In case you are wondering what I'm doing, I am putting all of my pins on these little cork thingies and also these things to close wine bottles with. <laughs> um, but it works really well when painting pins because you can hold on to the little cork thingy and you can paint them really easily that way because I also always paint the back of the pins. I know a lot of people don't but I just really like the way it looks when they are like all painted and yeah I know like you don't really see the back but I don't know I just really like the way it looks so <laughs> so this way I can paint the back easily as well as the front like it's just really handy so if you are also thinking of making pins or you make them already would really recommend putting them on these little cork bits because it makes your life so much easier <laughs> okay <laughs> anyway in today's video i am going to be painting all of these pins i've made these pins quite a while ago and i have been working on things for a new shop update for a good while now and I kind of like promised myself to first be working on everything that I needed to get printed like prints and stickers and stuff and then I would be allowed to like move on to the fun stuff you know like painting these pins for example um, and finally <laughs> I have ordered all of these things for my shop update like I've made some bookmarks I've made some prints also some stickers as well and they arrived already and if you don't follow me on Instagram my shop update is next week so I am actually really excited but I will talk about that a bit more later in this video but yeah <laughs> as I said I allowed myself to move on to the fun stuff not that making prints and stickers isn't fun like I really enjoyed myself but I have been in a bit of an art block for the longest time actually so it took me a lot of effort to actually finish all of those things but I finally did it and again I ordered everything and I love everything that came in so that's good but oh gosh <laughs> I'm really rambling like I'm all over the place as always um, but yeah what was I saying? I don't even remember. But yeah, anyway, I am finally allowed to paint these pins and I actually spent uh, last weekend painting all of these. I kind of don't want to work in the weekends, but honestly, I find this so much fun. And sometimes it's just a fine line between like working and just a hobby. I don't know it's the same with embroidery for me because it's it's kind of work but also I just really enjoy embroidery so like I don't want to do work in the evenings as well especially when I'm like not busy or anything but then I just really enjoy sitting on a couch watching some Netflix and do embroidery so again it's a fine line but yeah <laughs> anyway I am painting all of these pins that I've made quite a while ago um, and I've had them like ready to be painted for a good while so I'm glad that I finally did it. Most of these pins are a restock of pins that I already had. All of the little books I made at the beginning of the year as well but I only made like 
three of each or something and they actually sold out like within the first hour of me launching the new products which <laughs> i was so surprised by because i still think that when i do a shop update like no one will buy anything so it always makes me like really nervous <laughs> but yeah i I sold them all in like the first hour so I really wanted to do them again because I actually really like them and as you may know I do love books a lot so yeah. <laughs> so yeah I decided to do some book bins again and also I've made this little like jar of strawberry jam and I really 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 like how it turned out even though I'm always kind of afraid to do something that I don't know how to say this but sometimes I feel like it's not really my art style to do things like that like really cute art if that makes any sense because yeah I don't know all of my illustrations are always kind of like botanical and nature inspired and they do have quite a lot of detail if i may say so myself and it's just i mean it's definitely something different than i usually do which sometimes kind of scares me because i just yeah i don't know but on the other hand i do think it's kind of stupid to kind of restrict myself because it isn't my art style because it's still me and i think everything a person paints has some kind of art style from that person in it, if that makes any sense. Oh, and I also experience this feeling with, for example, making videos sometimes. Like, I would love to make more videos about books or I really like vintage clothing. So I would love to make like a lookbook or something, but I'm just, yeah, I, I'm just too scared. And I'm like, no, that's, that's not my thing, even though I can do whatever I want. So I will probably... <laughs> at one point make videos about like other things as well because i think my channel is about my life and not just my art even though it is mainly art but <laughs> you get what i mean so if you would like to see like videos about other things as well then <laughs> please let me know um i do think i'm going to make more videos about like books and stuff because i really enjoy watching booktube myself and yeah sometimes i just feel like i want to join that community so yeah <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I don't know if I'm making any sense. Um, but the same goes for my like illustrations as well. Sometimes I create something like really different and I just get really insecure about it. For example, last October I did um, an illustration of a tarot card, like the moon, which I ended up really liking. But it isn't something that I would usually do. But also, I really see my art style in it. 
if that makes any sense but i used to draw a lot with like fine liner and stuff so um even though i definitely developed my art style and it's mostly painting i still recognize my art style when i do pen drawings but this was definitely something else and something that i wouldn't normally do as i said already but again i ended up really liking it so i turned it into a print and a sticker and now it's one of my most sold things in my etsy store so yeah it it makes me really happy but also kind of insecure even though i'm not like insecure about the artwork itself i really feel like i'm rambling but <laughs> i just kind of want to talk about this because i do find it like really interesting as well like how the mind works and yeah but it's kind of the same with like this little strawberry gem <laughs> that i am creating like i really like it i think it's really cute and i'm definitely keeping one for myself to wear but at the same time i'm just really insecure about it and insecure what people would think because i don't really do things like that but i want to do things like that so i'm just going to <laughs> oh i really feel like i'm rambling i've said this many times already but yeah anyway um but I did decide for myself that I am just going to create whatever I want to create. And even though it does make me like insecure or not really sure what I'm doing. So now I'm wondering if people also like recognize this feeling. And if you ever don't do something because it's not your style or something like that. Um, and I also wonder like what it is exact what stops you or me from doing it because I don't really know if it's like in my head and I am not allowing myself or is it just the opinion from other people and I cannot really place my finger on that one so yeah I really wonder what other people have to say about this and again if you do recognize it because yeah, I'm still going to do it anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I do really hope you <laughs> like the little strawberry gem jars. I really like them and it really reminds me of summer, which I'm really excited for. It has been spring in the Netherlands for quite a while now, but, but the weather definitely has not been acting like it's spring. It is really pretending to be autumn right now and I mean I love autumn it's my favorite season but when it's supposed to be spring you gotta act like it's spring so yeah I mean I do I do really enjoy the rainy days and drinking my chai latte with a really thick jumper and just being cozy with my candles and all but yeah I'm ready for spring I want to draw and paint outside and just go on lovely walks and not be rained on every time I go outside so I'm really excited for that I think this week is definitely getting better so yeah good <laughs> Oh, and by the way, I kind of want to make clear that I am not like particular insecure about the kind of products I make because everything I create and put into my shop, I do really like and I'm really proud of. But um, it only has been like a good year since my Etsy shop is doing well. Before that, when I did a shop update, I just wouldn't get a sale and... I am just 
still kind of scared that when I put all my products live that no one will buy anything because I have had my shop for almost five years I think I've had it since 2016 and I would be really excited about everything and just really like intrigued with everything I was doing at that moment and then I just wouldn't get any response which really sucks and like I don't really know what it was but yeah again I just wouldn't really sell anything and looking back <laughs> I really dislike most of the things that I used to make and I definitely improved a lot but still like some tiny bit in my brain is still really scared that no one will like anything and no one will place an order so yeah it really sucks to have that insecurity especially because for the last few shop updates i spent a lot of money on making new products and i don't have a lot of money like like i'm fine but i'm not like <laughs> swimming around in money if that makes sense um it always feels scary to just spend a lot of money at once on products but yeah <laughs> um i do have to say i am not as insecure as i used to be like i know that there are a bunch of people that really support my work and i always like recognize the names and it just makes me so happy and thankful that there are people that are like supporting me that way and I can kind of count on them in some way um, so again I'm not as insecure as I used to be but just like the week before my shop update I just have a lot of thoughts and some of them are really insecure ones which yeah again I, I also do think that's kind of normal and also I'm not like really an insecure person in general it's just this bit of my life that I'm sometimes kind of insecure about and yeah again I do think it's normal and the fact that I didn't get many sales for like three years or something definitely plays a part in it it all makes it kind of logic and I kind of get why I'm feeling insecure but enough about talking about insecurity but i do think it's like really important to share as well because nowadays i sometimes see someone starting an etsy shop and they get like hundreds of sales within like the first few weeks of them starting an etsy shop and it's not always realistic because that definitely didn't happen to me um like I do have some friends that started the Etsy shop and they already have more sales than me even though they started like a year ago and I am honestly like so proud of them and <laughs> I really they, like they deserve the world and more and um, yeah again I'm just really proud of them and I am absolutely in love with everything they make but I also do have friends that are really talented and they don't get many sales and <laughs> I just really get the way they feel and I have definitely been there I still cannot believe like when I do a shop update that I sometimes get more than like five orders it like more than five orders is already crazy to me which <laughs> I know is not even a lot for a lot of people but yeah I don't know it, I always feel kind of weird talking about this but it is the reality I think and I wish more people would talk about it because again as I said sometimes it feels like people start an Etsy shop and they do like really well from the beginning but it's just simply not always that way and yeah I don't know if I'm making any sense and again I am rambling so much today talking about all of my insecurities which always feels kind of weird to put it on the internet I always forget that a lot of people that I also like know in real life watch this as well <laughs> which kind of scares me um, 
<laughs> but yeah. I'm also really excited for my shop update next week. I have been preparing so freaking much. And on one hand, I really enjoy like the preparation for a shop update. But on the other hand, it really stresses me out. Because for one, I am such a perfectionist. And taking pictures of products... I always find so hard like I don't know what it is and and people just take pictures like the day before the shop update and they're just like oh I'm quickly going to take some pictures for my shop update which is tomorrow or even this afternoon and I'm like <laughs> huh? I have been editing pictures for my shop update for two days now and I'm not even done <laughs> so I don't know how people do it like please teach me because I'm definitely not that skilled to take pictures in a day and just and have it all on my Etsy like within a day. I'm not that quick. But yeah. But yeah, once again, I am so excited for my shop update. It also has been a while since I've had one. The last one was in February, I think. So yeah, it has been a good while. And yeah, I'm just, I, I cannot wait. <laughs> I also have everything basically almost ready. I still need to cut a lot of prints and stickers and, and all that jazz, but I do have everything on Etsy already, just as a draft. <laughs> I haven't put it live yet, obviously. <laughs> um, but again, I do have everything ready to go live. And it just feels so nice to be this prepared because I am not like the most <laughs> organized person you'll ever meet. Normally, I am really stressed out days before the shop update because I still have to do everything like edit all the pictures and make all the listings, which is a lot of work. But yeah, I basically have everything ready to go. I still need like some pictures edited, but I have all the like thumbnails that you see on my Etsy basically ready. So that's really nice. So yeah, basically everything is ready to go live, which is really nice. So I can just chill out this week for a little bit, um, which I really need <laughs> because I have been working really hard on making all these products. So yeah, I want to say enough about that, but let's talk a little bit about these pins I'm painting because they will be in my Etsy store as well. So. Yeah, if you really like them, then you can pick one up for yourself. I really like how they all turned out. And I also made some moth pins again, which are, are also like sold out. I think I have one left, but yeah, a lot of new pins. I'm really excited for them. Also, something that I didn't film for this video is the part where I glazed the pins, like finishing them off. I glaze them with resin, like a UV resin, and I think it makes them look so good. Like, I mean, they're kind of cute when all painted and ready, but then when you put the glaze on, they look like a million times better. So, even though it is a bit of a pain to do, it always makes me so happy to see them like all glazed and ready and on their little backing cards as well, which. I still need to do like again I still need to do some preparation for the shop update but 
It's all the fun stuff basically. Also like cutting prints and stickers. I really like doing that because I can just like watch a movie or a TV show or anything while working on it. So I'm honestly really excited. Anyway, I think I've done enough rambling for today. I really hope you enjoyed the rest of this video. And again, if you did, please like and leave a little comment because it just really, really, really helps me. And I'm really trying to grow my channel and make more videos and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you are still watching, then thank you because like talking about another insecurity, I feel like a lot of people don't watch like the whole video and they just like get bored and click away after like a few minutes. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me today and my insecurities, but if you are still watching, then thank you so much and I will see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.